Hey everyone, welcome back to Learning to Be Prepared. Today I want to review VanQuest Husky Personal Pocket Maximizer, the next generation. Now, VanQuest has what I kind of think about as being two series of their maximizer organizers. The first series is what they call the EDC maximizers. They're going to be larger and capable of holding a lot more stuff, but they're not really going to be the size organizer that would fit in, say, a cargo pocket or something like that. The second series of maximizer organizers that they have are going to be the personal pocket maximizers. In both of their series, both the EDC and the pocket personal maximizers they have two sizes, the Slim and the Husky. And what I want to review for you today is going to be the Husky version of the Personal Pocket Maximizer. Now, just to give you a little bit of size comparison between the Slim and the Husky, I want to bring both of them out for a moment. The reason I want to do this is because you might be trying to still decide which one of these do you need to get? Or maybe which one will work best with the ideas that you have to use one of these? So when we look at the size, um, the first thing that we're going to notice is that they're, they're both six and a half inches in height. Okay, so from here to here, it should be exactly the same. Now on the Husky, from the width from the one side to the other, it's going to be 4.75 inches, whereas on the slim, it's only going to be four and a quarter inches. The next thing that you're going to notice is the depth. On the Husky, it's going to be one inch depth from front to back, and on the slim, it's going to be 0.75 inches. Now, I think when they give you those sizes, that's going to be when they're empty, because when you start putting stuff in here, you can definitely tell that the bags are capable of expanding to be able to hold what you want to put in there. Okay, so that's a little bit of a size comparison just to kind of help you think through what might work for you. We're going to go ahead and take this one out of the picture for right now and let's focus on this little guy. The first thing that you'll notice and uh, you probably, it's hard to tell through a video only, but this is actually going to be a thousand denier, which is going to be a military grade Cordura fabric. That is a scientific name for tough. Okay. <laughs> this organizer is going to last you a very long time. Uh, it is just amazing how VanQuest has really put so much thought into making an organizer, and for that matter, all of their gear, how they've made it so useful, so tough, and yet something that will last you for so long. I think that's phenomenal. Now, let's go ahead and look at some of the outside features of this organizer. On the very front here, you're going to see uh, a large pocket. This pocket has got a couple, I think, very useful things about it. Um, I actually put this kit together for this video. And I put it together as a medical kit because I know there are a lot of medical kit type organizers out there. And VanQuest has a couple of their own. But I wanted to show you how you could use an organizer like this as a medical kit as well. Just something a little bit different that I hadn't seen a lot of. Um, to go ahead and get started on that, I'm just going to remove this right here. This is just a little red bandana. This pocket has Velcro on the inside, okay? It has a small section of Velcro from here to here. And then where it hooks on to is gonna be a little bit larger right here. And I like that because if you have something stuffed in here that causes this little lip to shift, it's got a little bit of room left to right to still catch and hold it closed. 
If you put items in here that are going to be completely below the brim of this pocket, the Velcro in there is going to keep that pretty much closed so that the items don't fall out. But there's a second advantage to why the Velcro on both sides here doesn't go all the way across. And that is, so if you had like a straight knife, or for an example, a pen like this, you can still stick it in there, and the Velcro is going to be in the middle, and it's going to keep the pen, or maybe a straight knife, from just sitting there slinging all over the place in a pocket. It keeps everything kind of organized within that pocket. I think that's a pretty cool little feature. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to see on the organizer is you have this little hook and loop section right here. And what that is for is so that you can put a morale patch. Now, because I've set this up as a medical pouch, if I had uh, a blood type patch or maybe a red cross symbol for an emergency kit, I would probably put something like that right there instead. Um, it's always a good idea in your medical kit to put your own blood type there. So for me, I'm O negative, so if I could, I'd get one that says O negative and put that little guy right there. But since I don't, we're going to go with the American flag. And hey, speaking of America, these are designed right here in America as well. So you can support your country here in America by putting that on there. Okay, the next thing that we're going to look at is go to the side of the bag here. And you're going to notice that it has two zipper pulls made out of 550 paracord. And one nice thing about these zipper pulls is that they're already in a circular form, and they stay like that. And that's going to be called the Fisherman's Bend Knot. Now, just like other things, sometimes these will come undone. But fear not, because FanQuest has a little video on their website that kind of teaches you how to retie these in the event that you needed to. Now these zipper pulls are attached to two zippers right here. These are going to be YKK number 8 zippers. Very strong and they'll last you a long time. This is another interesting thing about VanQuest. Their zippers are reversed. Okay, Let me show you. This is going to be a Maxpedition pocket organizer. And I use Maxpedition organizers as well and really like them. But there are some differences in the way they're made, and this zipper is definitely one of them. If you look right here on the Maxpedition, the zipper is right in the open, just like most backpacks and stuff. But what they've done on the VanQuest is they put them in backwards. In fact, you really can't even see the zipper at all. A couple of benefits is that it protects the zipper when they're put in in reverse. It also helps dirt and things like that from getting caught in the zipper. It's a pretty good protection. One thing that I like about them is say that you had these zip tied together or a little lock on there to keep them from coming undone. Well if somebody else tried to take like a pin or a little knife to stick in here, the zipper would be a little bit harder to get into. So they put a lot of thought process into the design of the zipper. Looking at the back, um, I put a pair of medical shears in here, and I use one of VanQuest's little Velcro tab holders here, okay? But so that we can get into the details of the bag, I'm going to go ahead and remove these shears for right now. As you can see, you have six sections of molly right here, so you can use this as... Um, molly attachment on your bags. On the bottom you have two more little places where you could maybe put um, a zip tie right through there and you maybe could zip tie this little pouch to some other backpack or some other rig that you've come up with. Looking at the top you have a very nice handle I really like this handle because it's actually big enough to really get a grip on. And the handle is folded over to make it a little bit tougher. And it's got very nice stitching holding that together right there as well. Okay, so this is pretty much the outside 
of the pouch. Now, let's go ahead and open this up on the inside. And I want to show you something real quick. If you notice, I said this is the next generation. You're getting a sneak peek of what's to come for VanQuest. I'm going to open up the previous generation. Okay. And I'm going to set that right here. And now I'm going to open up the second generation. Do you notice the difference on that? The old generation had this green rip stop. Okay, that's going to be the previous generation. The new one is going to be that bright orange right through here, kind of like what they have in some of their backpacks. And the purpose of that is to make it a lot more high visibility. So things in here, while it still looks great, it blends in a little bit. All the items, they, they kind of blend in with the back just a little bit. But with this bright orange, the contrast of the colors is, is amazing. It really helps you to kind of see what all is in here just a little bit easier. So we're going to go ahead and move this one back over here. And let's go ahead and look at the design features of the inside of the Husky Personal Pocket Maximizer. This ripstop material in here, by the way, is going to be 210D ripstop. And that is going to be a type of material that if it gets a little hole or a little rip in it, it's not just going to rip completely open. The way that it's designed and stitched, it's going to help those rips and tears that could possibly occur um, from becoming a lot larger. The name is Maximizer. That's part of the name on how they... Um, name their organizers here and the reason they call it the maximizer is because they've done a couple things to these pouches to make better use of the space. One of the first obvious ones is they they have a second section of uh, this little stripping right here of this elastic. A lot of these organizers only have a center strip on both sides. A second thing that they do to really make this have a lot more usefulness of the room is they've offset the stitching here. So for an example, when you put an item in right here, it doesn't necessarily conflict with the bulge of the item behind it. Because sometimes if the stitching is just for both layers of these elastic little sections, when the stitching is exactly the same for both, when you put something in the back pocket, it causes a bulge. And then when you put something in the little front section, it causes a bigger bulge. They've offset these so that it causes everything to lay just a little bit nicer. And those are a couple of the ways that they maximize the space inside here. Now, inside the slim that we looked at a moment ago, it only has 10 of these elastic sections here. The Husky has 15, so it gives you five extra places to store stuff. A next item that both the Slim and the Max, um, the Husky both have is going to be this 550 paracord loop here. Now with that, you can attach a little carabiner. You can attach what I did, a zip tie to hold my medical tape in there. Uh, you can do a lot of things in there. The second thing right here is going to be a keychain. It has a little fob that helps it to rotate 360 degrees and you can hook a keychain or you can even take like a key ring, just a little silver part, hook it on there and attach maybe a whistle or a little compass or any other item that you may want to be able to hook on there so it doesn't fall out. Also, this is not available on the slim version. So the extra five elastic spots and this right here are the two differences other than the size of the slim version of this pocket organizer. Well, I believe I've pretty much covered everything that I wanted to cover with you on this. Right now I'm going to go ahead and just close this up for a moment. And if you have any um, comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. 
And I'm really glad, guys, um, for you guys taking the time to watch this video. And I want to thank you for all the support that y'all have been giving me for my channel. Well, have a great day, guys.